Hello friends, welcome to my another video of Java tutorial. In this video, I am going to discuss about two-dimensional array or 2D array. The two-dimensional array are also known as array of arrays and it can be easily easily recognized with the help of two pair with the help of two pairs of square brackets. Further, the elements arranged in array are row in the format of or arranged in rows and column. And the two-dimensional array can be created with the help of new operator or without using new operator. First of all, I'm going to show you some demonstration of 2D array. For that, let me make a single class within my working package class name of class demo 2D array and making a main method by clicking on this property and finish okay now this is my main method and uh, first of all I am going to show you how to declare a two dimensional array for this data type after that square brackets you can put and name of the array this is the one way the other way is square brackets array 2 and again square bracket this is also allowed and the uh, third way array name and square brackets we can declare any format or any pattern to declare an array after that how to initialize let's let me take this first array is equal to square bracket uh, sorry brackets and here i have to put commas now this first bracket is for rows after that this is for second row and this is for third row and I have to make columns of I can say like this 1 2 3 for first row 4 5 6 for second row 7 8 and 9 it means this I created an array in this format 1 2 3 for first row 4 5 6 for second row and 7 8 9 for third row and uh, we can also use new operator like this new int after that square bracket oh, sorry. after square bracket we have put in the brackets and I can also declare array in this format and the other way is by simply new and oh sorry new data type and size of array there is another way to declare an array array for square brackets new int and three I'm sorry it should be or four like this here also the first square bracket is for rows and second square bracket is for column but you can initialize both rows and column square bracket or you can only initialize the row square bracket it is doesn't necessary to initialize the second square bracket and uh, if you try only initialize second square bracket in next array let's see and 5 for example one now this is not allowed here we have getting an error like cannot specify an array dimension after the empty dimension so this is array for our program so I make it comment so these are the different ways with the help of which we can declare arrays two dimensional array and uh, okay this part is done this part is also done now the length of columns can be vary it doesn't necessary to make always make an array in this format equal number of length of rows and columns we can also make arrays with different length of rows for example here we have another one or here we have another one or maybe more 
like this kind of we can make array in this format also it doesn't necessary it should be 3 by 3 2 by 2 or 4 by 4 these kind of arrays are known as zagged arrays uh, zagged arrays are the arrays such that the member array cannot be can be of different size it means one array can be of different size another row array is of different size and let me show you how we can use for loop to show the values of array for that we have to create four okay first of all let me tell you about zagged array how we can create let me copy this thing from here so it will reduce my time a little bit okay now we have array of type int with name x here we have number of rows 2 but I do not mention the dimension of columns and this is my first row R1 suppose this is my second row R2 and it has value 5 in it if I want to check it for example system out I can assess any value for name of array and for example, I have starting row 0 and I have to check value for column 1, suppose. Okay, that is 0 because I initialized the array with new operator without assigning any value to any dimension. So I can assess up to 4. If I execute it, that is also 0. If I check the value beyond the range, then I got definitely some error. That is error index out of bound exception. So, because we have only 0 to 4. If I want to check upper side values, for example, from array number two again we'll get error now let's see what value we have from first row okay i got three that is row one and third column or we can say zero one two second column from num index if i want to use for loop for this outer loop and inner loop now initialize int i is equal to 0 i is less than the length of array that is okay i'm going to assess second one length and i plus plus again int for columns j is equal to 0 in case of array when you are using loops then always begin with 0 otherwise your program will not execute properly length and j plus plus here forget about j is less than array length system out print ln and here name of array after that square brackets first one for i rows second one for j column now execute it okay the format is not proper let me make this thing comment i make it in format okay reduce the print ln i know this is not in proper format this single row but i want to show it in grid format so make it just clean empty system out print ln new line now this thing is little bit better make some space okay now it is in grid format one two three four five six seven eight nine if I, I want to make an array at runtime, for that I can use scanner class 
scanner sc is equal to new scanner and in it system dot in semicolon okay it automatically import java dot util dot scanner class and uh, suppose i have to make use array 3 over here or let me make a new array take this thing somewhere up okay i have to work with new array for example int size or we can say rows int column system out print enter number of rows row dot row is equal to hc dot next int Copy these two lines. Enter number of column. Change it column. After I declare an array, array number, for example, six, for type int, square brackets is equal to new. int row and column this thing helped me to make a number of rows according to my keyboard input and i need for loop over here so let me copy it change the name of array array 6 6 I do not need and also I do not need this okay I want to take input from keyboard for my array for first row for that is I and for second row that is J is equal to new sorry is equal to hc dot next int for particular index that's it. Now we can copy to display the array and copy these two lines from here. It will help me to reduce the typing in six. That's it. Now let me check. First of all, the the things that are not required make those statement comment so that we have clean output for our program run okay first of all it asking me about number of rows let me make two a number of column two okay now i need to enter some values one two three and four these are my output okay here should be some we can make it more clear system out enter array elements and here we can make it array 6 plus i plus
plus and okay it give us more clean output i think number of root 2 number of root 2 okay for zero index it asking us some values like 1 2 3 4 that's it so that again executed for number of rows 3 and number of rows 3 first element second third for now second row first element second third and the third row first element second third okay guys this is simple two dimensional array with the help of keyboard okay now we are left with our zagat array uh, let me copy this array from here copy and paste okay first of all this is my normal array for x1 and uh, these are number of rows for this array the first row containing four elements second row containing three elements and index value two that containing five elements and we can check this zagat array from x1 it's in first initialize value that is zero uh, index value zero and for row and column it let me check zero one two okay and make the very commented and execute it okay two that is this one value or i can check some other values for next row 1 execute it that is 6 over index value 2 that is 11 Okay, the last and final thing I would like to share that suppose I have few simple array that is B1 with simple initialized value one comma two comma three. Copy it. Copy it. Paste. and change it with 3 and 2 change its value so that it can be easily recognize in this let it be 15 and new p that is our new array that is a two dimensional array is equal to B1, comma B2, comma B3. This is another way to declaring two-dimensional array with the help of one-dimensional array, which conclude our definition of two-dimensional array. That is, two-dimensional array are arrays of array, and we can also use simple for loop to see the result of this array. For example, this is our for loop. Let me change the name from here. New b dot length. New b dot length, and new b for index. 
1, 2, 3, 11, 12, 13 and 15, 22 and 33. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day.